Macomb County man admits to coercing several minors to send him sexually explicit images. Today, 21 year old Alexander Decker admitted to meeting a 13 year old girl on Snapchat last April and May, requesting she send him sexually explicit images of herself. Once she stopped, that's when he allegedly threatened to distribute the images, have $700 worth of pizza delivered to her house, and feces mailed to her if she did not comply. In June, he pleaded guilty and admitted he qualified as a repeat and dangerous sex offender. He faces 30 years in prison. A South Florida mother and son reunited two months after his father and grandmother kidnap him and take him to Canada. The six-year-old boy was last seen the morning of August 27th, leaving his mother's house with his father and grandmother and never returned. On Sunday, police received a call from a Walmart shopper in New Brunswick who spotted the boy with his father. It was surreal. It was like watching a movie, uh, I guess in slow motion, and um, you just... I, when I watched them, it was it was like people were oblivious, and I knew what I had to do, and I knew what I wanted to do. It was very emotional. We were both crying, and, and I told her, thank you for saving my son's life, and she said, the only thing I want is if you could update me and send me a picture on a holiday here and then. I was like, of course, I will bring you here. Well, the father and grandmother remain in custody in Canada. Americans are being extra generous with gratitudes this year, gratuities this year, excuse me, and experts are saying it's here to stay. Yep, according to a survey from Play USA, nearly 90% of Americans are tipping 50% or higher. Experts say some follow the gratuity suggestions that are printed on many receipts. Others admit it's just easier to figure out 20 or 25% of the total and leave that as a tip. When it comes to the best tipped workers, that would be restaurant workers, food delivery, hairstylists, and barbers. Among the worst, repair and furniture delivery workers. Ah. But the top tippers vary from generation with 95% of baby boomers <laughs> being the best. Well, they got the most money. Yeah. Some of the uh, delivery workers repair people. You don't always know if you're supposed to tip them tip. or not. That's yeah, kind of they get left out. Yeah, yeah. yeah interesting, isn't it? Yeah.